There was a big brouhaha after Tea Party firebrand Senator Rand Paul spoke more than 12 hours nonstop on the Senate floor. It was a filibuster about America's policy on drones. And the reaction? Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. I will speak until I can no, no longer speak. It I was something speak we almost never see anymore, an all-out talk-till-you-drop protest memos, speech on the Senate floor, we... with cameo references to Jane Fonda's anti-war days. That's one thing if you want to try her for treason, but are you going to just drop a, a, a drone hellfire missile on Jane Fonda? And a senator talking for almost 13 hours straight without sitting or even taking a bathroom break. His only real sustenance, a candy bar. And deemed to be a threat. And some peanuts. He spoke to block a vote on the president's nominee for CIA director, saying he first wanted an answer to a simple question. Can the president use a drone strike to kill an unarmed American citizen on U.S. soil? We'll take a telegram. We'll, we'll even take a tweet. The president's power to order drone strikes has so few limits, the administration refused to directly in. answer, earning the Tea Party senator some unlikely allies, even comedian John Stewart. He's using the filibuster the way it's meant to be used. The talkathon stopped only when nature finally called. I've discovered that there are some limits to filibustering and I'm gonna have to go take care of one of those in a few minutes here. <laughs> but it worked. John Brennan was confirmed as CIA director, but only after Senator Paul got his answer. No, the president cannot kill an unarmed U.S. citizen here at home with a drone. Senator Paul told us it was a clear cut victory, but not one likely to be repeated. You see yourself doing this again? <laughs> not anytime soon. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington.